Hey, this is Aaron. And Blake, we're AB Data. Thanks for walking through this Alteryx Weekly Challenge with us. In this video, we're taking a look at Alteryx Weekly Challenge number 279, how many Olympic games per continent. In this weekly challenge, we'll, we're given some starting data about each of the Olympic games. And in our source data, we have some interesting fact patterns that we need to contend with, uh, specifically within the continent field. Uh, so we'll talk about some different approaches that we can take for data cleansing and standardizing the data. Ultimately, we want to create three target outputs, three summary tables, all very similar. We want a descending list, uh, the first of just the summer games, second of the winter games, and third an overall list of the combined Olympic games. If you'd like to follow along, we are on the Alteryx Academy page within the community under Weekly Challenge. This is Challenge 279. You can download the YXZP start file if you'd like to have the starting canvas and data set and follow along. And again, those three target outputs, first the Summer Olympics, then the Winter Olympics, and last the combined total number of games. All right, so we have an Alteryx database file, the Olympics by continents, YXDB. So we have the city, the country, and the year, starting with the Athens game in 1896, going up through uh, the scheduled Paris games in 2024. And you'll notice in a few of our records, there are some extra tags or elements in the, the string fields for this continent. And because of that, we get some strange results in our summary tables unless we do something to help cleanse or standardize the data. So we'll talk about some different approaches that we can take. Uh, we're prompted to solve it a couple different ways, one of which is using what's called the trim function. Um, so we'll talk about that towards the end of the video. Uh, we're taking a slightly different approach on this first pass. But to get a really clear idea of what the issue is, we could use a, a summarize tool. We could also look at the, the browse tool and do some data profiling. But here, we're, we're supposed to have a listing of, of only five total continents. But we have eight records. We see Asia listed twice, once with a star and asterisk at the front. Same thing with North America. And records four and five, we've got Europe listed twice, once with, once with a little tag on the end with a lowercase h in brackets. So how do we remove some of these unwanted elements from our text fields? And one approach would be to use a formula tool and use a simple string function called the replace function. And this acts like a find and replace. So in this case, find the, the star, the asterisk, the wildcard character, and replace it with empty quotes. So replace it with nothing. Here, if we copy and paste to the, the summarize tool and the browse tool, we can get that quick summarized listing of all the available continents in the data set. And we've gone from eight total in the raw data down to six. Now that we've removed the asterisk, uh, we've gotten rid of one of the two major headaches in the raw data. The other is this little tag that shows up on the right-hand side of, the, of one, at least one record in the European continent. So one approach would be to simply replicate this function, but look for a different piece of text or piece of string that we want to ultimately remove. So instead of that asterisk, uh, we're going to look for this little tag of a lowercase h inside of brackets. And as always, we love to copy and paste within the Alteryx environment where possible. So now we've standardized our listing of continents. We have the, the five text strings that we need, although we notice that in two of the outputs, this listing is uppercased. So we could use a data cleansing tool to uppercase the text. Uh, we could also just use one of our standard string functions. So we'll, we'll, we'll talk about those approaches momentarily after we separate the games into summer and winter listings. And a great tool for taking one stream of data and splitting it into two streams is going to be our filter tool. And here we can go with a basic filter where the summer equals uh, lowercase y, as it shows up in this data set. And just to watch the flow of records, I'm adding browse tools off to the right hand side. So it looks like we've got 31 records for summer games, 
and 26 records for the Winter Games. Now we're given more information than we, we ultimately care about. All we care about is this value of continent and counting how many times it shows up for each. So here I'm adding a quick annotation on the two browse tools that separate the, the summer and winter data streams. But ultimately we're gonna use these two streams to create outputs one and two. On output number one, the field of continent is all uppercase. So we could use a data cleansing tool and check the box to modify the case, um, but it's gonna be more efficient if we just use a direct string function, in this case, the uppercase function. All right, so if we can get the, the browse tool data profiling to wake up, we can see basically what output number one should look like, these top values, but we need to generate this as an actual data table. So this pivot table-like summary, perfect use for the summarize tool. We can group by the continent field, which is gonna give us our listing of continents. And then a simple count will tell us how many records, out of a count if, how many records map back to each of these continents. A couple different ways we could add a sort tool onto the canvas within the results window. We can modify the view, we can do some sorting, some filtering, even some data cleansing in the new release of Alteryx. Uh, we can apply that tool to the canvas if we'd like. And ultimately we get our output for target one. Now target output number two is essentially the same thing, but we want to summarize the, the winter games. And we wanna modify the output field that we're creating and tag it as such. And you know what, I think we forgot to do this for output number one, but all tricks, everything is a very iterative development nature. We can always go back and modify our tools as needed. And our third output is actually gonna be all the tools we need for output number one, including the uppercase function, but we're gonna summarize the entire data stream. So instead of pulling from the filtered data, we'll go back to that original formula tool where we're standardizing the text by removing the asterisk and that little H tag. We sort it in descending order and we've matched output number three. So we do see the, the same tools repeat a few times on the canvas. We were able to get there quickly with some copying and pasting. Now to address uh, the, the possible solutions, right? There's always uh, many approaches that we could take, some different functions, different tools that we could use to, to clean up this field called continent. Um, and we absolutely could use what are called the trim functions. So we could do a standard trim, which would look for characters on the far left side or the far right side of a string field. Um, so we could use this to remove the, the asterisk. We could use trim right to remove that uh, H tag inside of brackets. So that's one way that we could go about solving this problem. Um, we could alternatively use a data cleansing tool and then trim an H off the right side of the resulting string. Um, so different approaches. Uh, depends on the volume of data that we're working with. Um, here we only have 57 records, relatively small data set. Um, so we're not going to notice a huge difference in terms of uh, performance if we turned on performance profiling. Um, but just to show you a, a third way we could approach solving this problem, we could use a data cleansing tool, really hone in on this field called continent, and use the data cleanse to standardize um, the casing, we could use it to uppercase as well as remove that unwanted character. All right, so just jumping over to the uh, kind of the cooking show approach, taking the final canvas out of the oven here with a little bit of documentation. We have a, a nice clean result. Appreciate you joining us this week. We'll see you soon. Thank you for learning with us today. Good luck on your Alteryx journey. For more information on custom training, managed service automations, and more, please visit our website at abdataconsulting.com.